India's Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, announced a new submachine gun for India's military has cleared its final phase of trials before it can be rolled out to the troops. The weapon is named as JVPC or Joint Venture Protective Carbine. The new weapon comes as India has been working to produce new domestically developed equipment for its military. The JVPC, also called the Modern Submachine Carbine MSMC, is a gas-operated, rotating bolt, semi-bullpup automatic weapon, chambered in 5.56 by 30 millimeters. The round reportedly has the ability to penetrate bulletproof vests. The carbine has 700 to 800 rounds per minute rate of firing and an effective firing range of 100 to 200 meters, about 328 to 656 feet. The carbine weighs about 3 kilograms or 6.6 .6 pounds and features a modern single pistol grip handle design like the famous Israeli Uzi. The JVPC also has a retractable buttstock, low recoil, improved ergonomics, modular 30 round magazine fed through the pistol grip, allowing the user to use it in one hand effectively. The carbine can also be configured with various Picatinny rails to allow installation of various sights and weapon attachments. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. The British Royal Navy will, for the first time in decades, deploy a carrier group to East Asia. Reports indicate that HMS Queen Elizabeth is set to deploy to waters near Japan early in 2021. The carrier and its escorts are expected to conduct joint exercises with the armed forces of the United States and Japan. The deployment is being seen as part of Pivot to Asia initiative which will see Britain focusing on major part of its military force in Asia. The deployment will counter the growing Chinese influence in the region. Viewers may note that many in Britain's power circle, as well as allies like the United States, want the Royal Navy to take a more proactive stance against China. Joby Aviation's prototype aircraft has been given EVTOL airworthiness approval by the U.S. Air Force. This is part of the force's Agility Prime initiative, which aims to support the rapid certification of EVTOL technology by the Federal Aviation Authority so that the Air Force can begin using the aircraft in 2023. Joby Aviation now with airworthiness approval for its EVTOL prototype aircraft, is one of the program's six flying partners. Joe Ben Bevert, founder and CEO of Joby Aviation, said, Through the Defense Innovation Unit and our partnership with Agility Prime, we have access to a range called Fort Hunter Liggett, where we're able to very safely test our aircraft, and it's been a transformative capability for us that we're very grateful for. Company CEO Kyle Clark said, Everybody online here knows how incredibly efficient the acquisition process was here. And that simple innovation has completely transformed the pace at which we're able to do things. He added, In my opinion, electric aviation is the inevitable future of aviation. It can't not be. The ability to go vertical, the flexibility, the cost savings, it's been used in all other forms of transportation. And now we're here in aviation and we get to use it again. French President Emmanuel Macron 
has announced a new nuclear-powered aircraft carrier to replace the country's existing flat top, Charles de Gaulle. Macron said, Charles de Gaulle, as you know, will come to the end of its life in 2038. This is why I have decided that the future aircraft carrier that will equip our country and our Navy will be nuclear-powered like the Charles de Gaulle. French shipbuilder Naval Group, which is partially state-owned, has released new concept art for the carrier, which is presently known as the Port Avion Nouvelle Generation or PANG, which translates to New Generation Aircraft Carrier. The concept art depicts a catapult-assisted takeoff barrier arrested recovery catobar type design with an angled deck and a relatively small main island toward the rear right end of the flight deck. Viewers may note that the Charles de Gaulle also has a catobar configuration and at present France is the only country other than the United States to operate such carrier. On Twitter, Florence Parley France's Minister for the Armed Forces provided some detail about the planned specifications and capabilities of the PANG. The future aircraft carrier will be just over 984 feet long and displace approximately 75,000 metric tons, making it significantly larger than the Charles de Gaulle, which is around 858 feet long and displaces just 42,500 metric tons. The second of two Queen Elizabeth-class ships, the HMS Prince of Wales, has suffered serious flooding, which will take at least six months to repair. The flood reportedly occurred while the warship was in dock in Portsmouth on England's southern coast and is thought to be the result of faulty pipes. British media outlet The Sun reported that the floods filled an engine compartment with at least three feet of water. The paper noted that Thousands of gallons of seawater poured into an engine room and submerged electrical cabinets for over 24 hours. Flooding has damaged the aircraft carrier's high-voltage electrical propulsion system, comprised of two Rolls-Royce Marine gas turbine alternator and four diesel engines. These are the most costly part of the ship and is responsible for delivering a total power of around 110 megawatts. This is expected to cost millions of British pounds to repair. Russia's Southern Military District announced that the Russian Navy will take part in military drills with multiple NATO members for the first time since 2011. The drills will involve 30 countries. The Amman 2021 drills will involve anti-piracy exercises off the coast of Pakistan in February. According to Russian news agency RAI Novosti, the NATO countries involved include the UK, the United States, and Turkey. Participants will also include Pakistan, China, and Japan. The last time the Russian Navy participated in exercises with multiple NATO members was in the 2011 Bold Monarch drills off the coast of Spain. NATO told reporters that the alliance itself has no exercise planned with Russia, even if NATO countries were involved on an individual basis. The U.S. Navy, on December 9th, test-fired the latest version of the Raytheon RGM-109 Tomahawk cruise missile. The USS Chafee, a DDG-51 destroyer, conducted the first operational test of the Raytheon Tomahawk Block 5. The objective of the testing was to support initial fleet release of the Block 5 Tomahawk's Navigation and Communications or NAVCOMS upgrade, as well as upgrades to the Theater Mission Planning Center TMPC system and the Tactical Tomahawk Weapons Control System TTWCS. Tomahawk Weapons System Program Manager Captain John Red stated this is the culmination of years of planning and effort. We are working every day to modernize the Tomahawk missile and to deliver the best warfighting capability to the fleet. USS Chafee successfully launched two Block 5 missiles and one Block 4 missile from Point Mugu Sea Test Range and impacted targets as planned. 
the successful completion of the operational tests paved the way for the delivery of Block 5 missiles to the fleet in 2021. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.